Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is episode 47 of my $25 thrift challenge series. We are officially on the countdown to episode 50. We're so close, I'm so excited. If you guys missed episode 45, I did a huge announcement of my brand Like You that will launch on episode 50 and I am so ready to get all this out to you. We just filmed the promo video for it and I just set up the Like You YouTube channel. So if you want to follow along or subscribe to that channel, I'm gonna be posting a ton of styling videos as well as showing you new arrivals and all of like the behind the scenes stuff will be on that channel so I've linked it down below in the description box you can follow us on all our socials you can sign up for our email list I'm just so excited there have been so many people that have been a part of this like you project and I can't wait to show you everything that we've all been working on it hasn't been just me this is not like a one-woman show this has been a collaborative project that so many really talented creative people have been a part of and have helped just my overall vision come to life and so I am so ready for you guys to see it but if you're new to my channel welcome what an episode to come in on you have a lot to catch up on 46 episodes I believe but basically I started this series because I love thrifting and I wanted to take you guys along on my thrifting adventures and I just love thrifting because you can try new trends and I almost go every single week and spend $25 to put together an outfit or find some pieces that I really love this lightweight jacket is thrifted as well as this square neck tank this one was actually actually a little bit big on me when I thrifted it so I shortened the straps and it fits like a glove now and I also wanted to show you guys really quick these like you earrings these will be available on episode 50 when the store launches but let's go ahead and see what we can find I also forgot to share that I'm carrying my little like you tote again. I can't tell you how fun it is to carry like your own bag. I don't know, I feel so like proud of it. Okay, this is super funny because I thought they took this down, but I guess they're still using this ad, but this is me, if you guys can't tell. I didn't have bangs back then. Maybe that was like a year and a half ago. Isn't that crazy? Okay, so I'm gonna start in short sleeve tops today, and I really wanna try to put together an outfit. I feel like I haven't done that in a while, so we're gonna make something work. I'm so determined. Guys. That's where I went to school for two years until I dropped out. <laughs> chicken shirt if you think I should get this chicken shirt give this video a thumbs up Okay, now I'm gonna go through long sleeve tops and I wanted to ask you guys, what is your favorite item to thrift? Like something that you can never say no to? Is it sweaters, is it bags, shoes, tops, bottoms? Like what is your like guilty pleasure thrifted item?
Okay, so now I'm gonna go through bags and it looks like there's actually some good bags here. Longchamp bag, which is really really cool. On the inside, it says Longchamp along the lining. But since this isn't really a color that I would wear, I'm probably not gonna get it. But I just wanted to share with you guys. So now I'm gonna go through skirts and basically this outfit will depend on finding a bottom which lately I haven't been finding a lot of great bottoms to make an outfit but I'm telling you guys I have a good feeling about today I'm looking hard gonna make something work of skirts which is very surprising i found one that's super wild and you're either gonna see it in the dressing room or i'm gonna get it so either way you're gonna see it. it's honestly crazy and it's not something i would normally go towards but i was feeling a little bit more adventurous today but now i'm gonna go through pants and then jeans jeans really quick because there are like no jeans here i've almost given up hope on jeans because i feel like now everybody's looking for like the levi's and the high-waisted mom jeans you know we're all looking for the same thing so finding a good pair of jeans is getting harder i think i'm gonna give it a go there's not there's not a lot to work with so probably won't find jeans okay as i literally just found a pair of levi's so maybe i just you know, spoke that into existence or something, I don't know. But I doubt they'll fit, but it's worth trying. No joke, I literally like saw four or five pairs of Levi's just in the smalls. So I'm thinking maybe I manifested that into existence, but now I'm gonna go through blazers and then sweaters. So I don't even feel like I need to go through dresses because look at everything I found. I'm so excited about this giant pile of stuff. But you guys know me and how I'm not able to not look through something. So I'm gonna look through dresses even though I really don't need to. Last thing that I need to go through are shoes and I found a bunch of bottoms and a bunch of tops so I'm feeling really good about the possibilities of getting an outfit. I really don't know though how I'm gonna like pick one top and like one bottom because I found so many good tops. 
These are really cute, but they're too big. Here are a pair of Kohan loafers. I'm just really finding all of the good shoes today. These are too big for me though, but really, really nice leather. I wish these fit so bad because they're such good quality. And a pair of Michael Kors. What the heck? I'm finding so many good brands. I never find shoes like this. Here are another pair of Stuart Weitzman. Okay, so now I'm gonna try everything on and show you what I pick out when I get home. I have an entire cart of stuff and only one hook in the entire dressing room. So I don't know how I'm gonna sort this or get it all out of the cart, but I'm so excited to show you what I picked up because there's so much stuff. I have no idea how I'm gonna stay in budget. So I really like this blazer, but I already have a couple of brown blazers, so I don't really need it, but I thought I would try it on just in case. I love just the single button, and then the fit of it is really nice. Roll the sleeves, keep it casual, so maybe? All right, love the color of this one, but way too big, and I'm not sure if I like all these buttons, so this one's a no. Okay, this sweater is really cute because it has like these little sparkles in it, which I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but it has like little gold threads. And then the sleeves are actually really cute because it has almost like a puff sleeve except very very subtle but you can kind of see it so this is a maybe this top is okay i do like the neckline on it but i honestly don't think i have the chest to fill this one out so i'm gonna pass on this one really like the pattern on this one not a fan of the fit especially the sleeve I think the sleeve is kind of weird. So I'm gonna say no to this one. So this one's just a t-shirt, but it's really good quality. It's this Claiborne and has these little gold stars on it. So this one's a maybe. So typically I don't gravitate towards this color, but I'm really loving this. I love the neckline on it, kind of this deep V. And then the little pleats are really nice as well. So this is a maybe. This is a no, just putting it out there. The color of it is stunning, but this is not what I envisioned when I picked it up. But that's why you gotta try stuff even if you're like maybe try it on you never know it could have been good you know it wasn't but i've definitely had moments where i thought maybe it would work probably wouldn't but then it did and i loved it so this is a no but just putting it out there try everything on i actually really liked this top but super itchy so i don't think i'm gonna get it it's just itchy everywhere and it's really scratchy so it's a bummer because i thought it was actually a really cool pattern so i love the way that these denim fit but they are not high-waisted and that's gonna drive me absolutely crazy so i'm gonna pass so these jeans are levi's as well but these ones are actually too big and baggy so these are a no as well all right so here's the skirt and I told you it was super funky and crazy. Probably not gonna get it because I found something else, but I wanted to show you guys because it's super fun. It's asymmetrical on the bottom and it's just a really crazy pattern. All right, just finished up. Was in the Goodwill for like two and a half hours. It's fine, but I ended up spending $29 and that's because I got shoes and a bag and those were each $8. So that already put me really high on my budget. I also found an amazing shirt that I really wanted. I ended up not getting it because it was $13. Do you guys feel like they're increasing the prices on us? I mean, I'm just saying. I spent $29 and now I'm gonna show you everything I picked out. Okay, so as you can tell, it's a different day. It's actually the next day. I got home and then hung out with Jason. We went to dinner and then it was super late and I didn't really wanna film. So it's the next day and I'm gonna show you everything I picked out. Still equally excited about the pieces, which means I got good stuff, but I ended up spending $29 like I said in the car and I got like a bag some shoes a really great sweater so we're just gonna go ahead and try everything on okay so I'm gonna start with the bag because you guys kind of already saw it in the thumbnail this bag was eight dollars and the reason that I grabbed this one is because it's very on trend it looks like one of the Fendi bags if you guys aren't familiar with the Fendi bag that like everybody has I will put a little picture right here but basically this is like an off-brand of a designer handbag and I just love the colors, the two-tone of the dark and light leather, and then I thought this little handle was so cute. You can wear it on your shoulder like that, or you can just carry it by the handle, but it's super cute. It's a great size, and like I said, it is very on trend with those like older vintage designer bags, so I feel really good about this. This is an up-close of what the pattern looks like. It's not like a soft material. It's kind of like 
a textured leather almost but i really love just kind of the neutral pattern the next piece that i got is a sweater and i am so excited about this one it's really subtle but it looks so good on and it's this emerald green sweater and it has like this navy blue threading in it as well as some like sparkly threading this is kind of a close-up of the material you can see it has like those reflective pieces and it's really really pretty on it has like these little bubble sleeves almost I don't know if I'd call them bubble sleeves, but they just lay really nicely. You'll see once I put it on. But I feel like this would be a great holiday sweater because it's green. But it's also just really cute with like black jeans. So you can definitely wear this in the fall. So this is that green sweater. And it almost looks black from far away. But in the sunlight, you can definitely tell it's like an emerald green. It's really, really pretty. Again, I love the sleeves on it. That's like my favorite part. But it's super cute. I went ahead and tucked it in in the front. This will look really great with like a skirt though like maybe like a fitted pencil skirt and then you have kind of like the bigger top but i love all of the different colors in this and the texture on it is amazing you can kind of see all of the different like colors woven in there and then you can kind of see the reflectiveness in some of the threading but i think it's a really subtle detail but i really really like it but it's just a pretty top like i love all of the subtle details about this one the next piece that i found are a pair of shoes and they are stuart weitzman heels and they're a little bit big like I think they might be a seven but because they're a mule I can make them work I really love the silhouette of these heels it's such a pretty design and it almost has like a platform on the front so it's really not an uncomfortable heel and then this kind of leather part is almost like a suede so they're super nice obviously Stuart Weitzman and so I am just really really glad I found these and even though they aren't like my perfect size they they fit pretty well so these are the Stuart Weitzman shoes and like I said they are a little bit big like you can see on the heel but they're not that bad and because they're Stuart Weitzman I just feel like I couldn't pass these up so i think they're super cute i love that they are a brown suede and i think they're really slimming on my feet next is a cardigan and this one is so cool i'm really really happy with this find because i feel like it's super unique it's this really heavy black knit cardigan what's cool about it though is it has this like fringy detailing around the neck down the front and on the sleeves as well so if you see the sleeve it has like this fringe and it's super fun i just really love the weight of this cardigan it's so stinking heavy and warm and cozy so i'm super excited that i found this and because it's black you know you can wear with anything so i'm feeling really good about this one so this is the thick cardigan and it's honestly really hard to see it because it's black but i love this one because of the details on it and all of the fringe is so fun this is a close-up because i think you can see it better but it has all this extra like fluffy stitching around the sleeves and then also down the front as well so it's just a really pretty top this would look great with like a silk cami underneath it i just love how thick it is is and cozy it is and it's actually i think a size large but i feel like it fits me pretty well except for the sleeves they're a little bit long but other than that i feel like in the body it fits really nicely so that's everything for this week's episode of the buy chloe win 25 dollar thrift challenge i hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode be sure to subscribe to my brand like you on youtube i will link it down below but if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below letting me know what your favorite piece was and don't forget to subscribe i would love to have you back for some more videos and i will see you in my next one bye